Hello, everyone. My name is John Pierre Smith, and I'm happy to be here today to speak with you about um, the joint work between myself, Luca Dolphy, and Adrian Perig of Etihad Zurich, and Pratik Mittal of Princeton University, titled QCSD, a quick client-side website fingerprinting defense framework. So, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So the world is moving towards an encrypted web with technologies like HTTPS, VPNs, and other privacy-enhancing technologies um, restricting the amount of information available to an adversary that is in the network and would like to identify which website a user is visiting. Um, for this adversary, he can observe, for example, due to the encryption being applied by the VPN or other privacy-enhancing technology, he can observe packet sizes times the client which is speaking with the proxy. Um, and he uses this information to train a class of attacks called website fingerprinting attacks, which he then uses to try to classify the website. As a result of these attacks, several defenses have been proposed in the literature. And However, the need to deploy, well, to defend both directions, both from the client to the uh, proxy, as well as from the proxy to the, um, to the client, has essentially meant that, well, this def these defenses would have to be deployed both at the user as well as some remote place in the network. And this is obviously a, a hindrance to deployment as this requires something outside of the client's control. In our work, we ask the question, can we effectively defend web traffic, both incoming and outgoing, against website fingerprinting attacks solely from the client? So that is without requiring any changes to the server or the deployment of any new um, network services. So in trying to find a way to do this, we leverage three key insights. The first is that a client-side only defense must leverage the existing web network stack. And the reason for this is since we are deploying this only at the client, we cannot rely upon anything being changed at the server or any new deployments in the network. And so we have to leverage what is already, ex already there. For this, we utilize both the quick and HTTP3 protocols, which are new additions to the web network stack and which provide a host of new functionalities such as um, new control messages for manipulating the flow between the client and the server. Um, the fact that Quick is deployed in user space and so can be modified on a per application basis, as well as features such as the fact that Quick, um, that Quick allows multiplexing multiple individual byte streams. Furthermore, these protocols are already deployed by most major browsers as well as large content providers. The second insight is that most web servers host resources beyond those um, required to load any single web page. And these resources can, regardless of which web page is being viewed, these resources can be requested to add chaff or padding from the server to the client. The third insight is that quick connections multiplex multiple individual byte streams where each byte stream delivers a single HTTP resource. Furthermore, each of these byte streams can be independently flow controlled by the client allowing prioritizing, say, application data from other data, as well as even stopping or pausing one flow of data while allowing another. This leads to our work, which is QCSD. So QCSD is a defense framework that takes as input an existing website fingerprinting defense from the literature, and it uses instructions from these defenses to shape traffic both going from the client to the server as well as from the server to the client. It does this without requiring any changes to the server or without, and without requiring the deployment of anything new in the network. Furthermore, it's a user space modification to a quick HTTP3 library, and so it can be deployed on a per application basis with the modifications being bundled with the, with the application. Finally, as a standards compliant modification to the quick HTTP3 library, it's already compatible with existing web servers. So how does QCSD work? Well, let's consider a chaff-only defense. So that's a defense which only adds chaff or dummy traffic to the connection, but doesn't otherwise delay the application data. An example of this is the front defense. Well, in a regular um, quick connection, um, each stream that is opened in the connection delivers a resource for, delivers a request for a single HTTP resource. 
These requests can be bundled into a single packet or placed in multiple packets sent to the server, which prepares the data, bundles the data from one or more streams into one or more packets, and sends this back to the client. In a chaff-only defense, this continues unabated and unaffected by the defense. However, when the defense indicates to QCSD that the client should send, for example, a burst of um, chaff traffic, then QCSD leverages a feature of Quick, which is the ability to add pad and ping frames to a packet, and it creates a packet with only these kinds of frames, sends it to the server, the server discards this and continues the communication as normal. The addition of the ping frame there is to ensure that the server treats this packet of essentially uh, garbage as if it was an actual application packet front, sent from the, server, from the client to the server. In the incoming direction, QCSD creates and maintains what we call chaff streams. So these chaff streams are essentially quick streams which are opened to request resources that are tangential to the loading of the web page. QCSD tracks resources which can be used for that and caches them between, um, and would cache them between different connections. When the server receives a request for such a resource, QCSD also blocks the server from actually sending data for these resources. When the defense indicates that data should be pulled from the server to the client, then QCSD releases data from one or more of these streams, such that the total amount of data being pulled from the server to the client is equal to the amount indicated by the defense. We note here that QCSD operates in the incoming direction in um, intervals, so it aggregates commands from the defense over interval intervals, such as it doesn't overload the server with control messages. Let's consider, oh, yeah. Let's consider a second type of defense. So that's um, chaff and delay defenses. So these defenses, in addition to adding chaff traffic to the connection, also reshape the flow of application data, for example, by um, delaying the application data. So here, an example of this is Tamaro, by the way, that we'll be using for this um, demonstration. So here, when the defense indicates that data should be sent from the client to the server, well, since QCSD is now also blocking the client from sending by default, it first checks whether um, there's data pending at the client to be sent to the server. It creates a packet with that data or multiple packets if the amount to be sent is over um, the MTU of the link. And it pads this amount of data using pad and ping frames, which it then sends to the server the server removes this information, discards it as per the quick protocol, and forwards the application data to the actual stream. In the case of the incoming direction, so from the server to the client, well, QCSD also once more application streams are being opened along with um, chaff streams being created by QCSD. However, unlike in the chaff only case, um, all of these streams are blocked by default from sending um, from being sent from the server. When the defense indicates that some data should be pulled from the server to the client, then through tracking of, in, tracking of each of the individual streams through, for example, HTTP headers, as well as through um, the framing that Quick applies to, to data streams, um, QCSD identifies one or several application streams which will contribute towards the amount indicated by the defense as well as one or several um, chaff streams to um, make the total information data pulled from the server be equal to the amount indicated by the defense. It then sends flow control credits from the client to the server to release data on those streams, and the server bundles that into one or more packets and responds to the client. We evaluated QCSD in um, a series of uh, website finger, under a series of website fingerprinting attacks, where we created a prototype of QCSD in Mozilla's um, Quick HTTP3 library. And we wrote a test client which takes as input a defense as well as, um, as, well as a set of, well, resources and HTML pages to download as, uh, for each web page. And we used this test client to collect several data sets of um, web pages collected over VPN from different, from different vantage points. And each web data set was shaped towards equal either front, Tamara, or not shaped at all, so undefended. For the undefended case, we also simulated the defenses on the undefended setting to form, kind of a, to form a comparison. We evaluated each data set against several website fingerprinting attacks, and for each measured precision and recall. So what we observed was 
when, for example, shaping connections towards a single defense, when shaping um, the, these connections towards a chaff, chaff and shape defense or chaff and, chaff and delay defense, such as Tamaro, um, QCSD is able to defend against attacks which utilize only size information, such as a deep fingerprinting attack. However, inexact control from the server to the client leaks timing information, which resulted in QCSD shaping towards Tamaro, not performing as well as when shaping to, when, shape, when as well as simulated Tamaro. However, when um, QCSD shaping towards a chaff only defense like front, um, it was able to meet or well, quite exactly match the defense provided by such a, um, a chaff only defense. Um, and in some cases even surpass the defense capability, and, but this is due to the addition of control messages to the, to the network, which is an additional source of noise. Furthermore, we evaluated two additional scenarios. So we evaluated shaping multiple connections towards a single defense, as would be necessary when loading an, a full web page, as well as um, we defended actual Chrome browser traffic by shaping the overall VPN connection towards the defense by adding um, chaff traffic with QCSD front towards the same web server. In both of these scenarios, we observed similar results where QCSD was able to defend the connections against, web, against the evaluated website fingerprinting attacks, and the results are similar to what um, we, I have shown in these plots. So, in conclusion, going back to our initial question, can we defend against website fingerprinting attacks only from the client? The answer is yes. With our prototype of QCSD, we've demonstrated that this is possible without requiring changes to the server or deployment of in-network services, and that we are able to defend both single connections, multiple connections, as well as full web page loads. Furthermore, through our use of um, or evaluations with Quick and with the HTTP3 protocols, we found that there are very extensible and flexible protocols, and as they're in the user space, it this opens up on many possibilities for creating new and interesting um, privacy enhancing technologies. And we look forward to the work that will come out in that space. With that, I end my talk and I welcome your questions. Thank you.